Hi guys, it's Karen. I'm just here to show another project for uh, craft supplies for you. I am a design team member and I'm working on some Christmas projects. And so this is a small wall hanging that I've made with a sort of a flower snowflake on the bottom and then some dangles. The image is uh, one I bought actually a couple years ago and had in my stash. I hadn't used it. It's on rice paper and it's a beautiful image of angels decorating a Christmas tree and there's this one sitting here with little bunny rabbits in her lap and beside her there's another little bunny here. There's a dove here and one here helping decorate the tree and then the four little angels. And what I did uh, was I, I mod podge the rice paper onto a six by six piece of, of um, chipboard and then I used a square doily from uh, the doily square doily pack from Craft Supplies for You, and I cut the middle out of the doily, and then it fit perf. It was really perfect. I know it just sort of pe pe peeks out here and there. I liked how that looked and kind of shaped around the image. And then I added this beautiful organza trim around the edge. And this organza trim has got the satin blue here, organza here, and then this beautiful uh, light blue organza with a bit of a satiny edge on it. And it actually has this on both sides, but I trimmed off the inner one because I didn't want that on. It didn't fit well with this particular project. And I just put it aside because this organza is really nice to gather up and use for little filler flowers and other little things. So the other half will not go to waste. So I put that all around the edge of the frame. And then I added this beautiful iridescent trim, which is a white, um, lacy and then it has uh, iridescent sequins and little seed beads and I'll just show you a piece up nice and close so you can see it's a very very pretty lace and I this is one of my stock ones that I always have because it is so pretty and particularly pretty on Christmas stuff because of the way it sparkles I put that over top of the satin and all I did was attach it initially in the corners behind the beading pieces and then um, just attached behind each beaded flower onto the satin so it allowed it to, to ripple up so it's not glued on everywhere to try and you know because it's it doesn't wouldn't sit properly so it gives it that rippled effect and you can see it's rippled around the edge um, then I added in a few small little tiny doilies that I had from the um, the uh, round doily pack that you can get from Craft Supplies for You. I put them in three little ones in the corner and a couple down and one down here and then I added in some flowers. So these little white flowers are off of a spray of flowers that you can get from Craft Supplies for You and I have a bit of the stem left. I, it's quite a large stem that you get and it has lots of these little flowers on it, some this size with little, little, little white roses with pearl centers and then the white leaves. And I think it has, oh, it has pearls on it too and I put these, those on part of the dangle. And so you can see I just sort of hack away at it and, um, and it, it, it makes lots of projects, this whole stem of flowers that you can get. So I put in some of the little white flowers here in the corner and in these corners and then up here I also added some of the little clay flowers from Craft Supplies for You that have a little, um, little, little sparkle in the center and they're really pretty too. They're a really pretty um, polymer clay type uh, flower. They come on a wired stem and you get a little bushel of them and they're really nice when you, you can cut them off like I do and use them you know, singly or tuck them here and there in a project. Uh, these are from my stash. I just had a, some charms and they said love and joy and I just strung them on a little piece of ribbon and put them up in the corner here. I had one of these little stars in my stash. So I put that at the top of the tree. As you can see, I stickled the wings on all the angels and I use um, 
stardust stickles for their wings. And then the bunnies are a little whiter and that's a different, they're down here and two here. I used just a, a, a white glitter glue uh, so they're not quite the same color or as the wings are. And then at the bottom I added, I made a snowflake type flower and I used uh, several um, laces from Craft Supplies for You to do that. I'll just show you what I chose for the to make this flower. Um, this outside edge, the outer edge of the flower, the first layer, which is a creamy colored, is this creamy colored cotton lace. And what I did was I cut, I cut down the middle of the lace through each of these. So I just had half and then I gathered it. So you can see the, the that we woven part is makes the middle of the, of that little bit of the flower. And then the outer edge shows up quite nicely along the edge of here. So that was the, my base and it's quite a heavy, it's a heavy cotton trim. And I think it's quite cool. And I love trims that I can cut into pieces. So I really like that one. And then the next layer, I wanted it a certain length so that these wouldn't be just too close to the center and they'd be hidden underneath this part of the flower that I made. So I attached two trims together to create them. And the inner trim, which is almost a bit fuzzy and has a, a stitch on it, is this one. And it's a really, really nice trim. It's just, it's unusual and it's got texture to it. It's soft, kind of fuzzy. And then I took this trim, which is the heart dangle trim, and I attached the two together. So I just glued right along the top of that one and glued them together. I counted out that I wanted six little hearts, so I glued them together. And then I just gathered the edge of this one. So I just went in and out, in and out with my needle and thread and gathered it together into a circle so that that would create the second layer. Which I'll bring it up now so you can see it a little closer. So there's that fuzzy and there's the hearts are attached. And then I cut the hearts all apart because of course when you try and gather up um, uh, things that are attached, they often buckle and you don't get the nice look that you want. Plus it works really well when you're making a, a, a flower or a snowflake look like this because you get more definite definition between them. As you can see on the trim, they are attached and there's this piece in between each one of these little hearts. And I just cut, after I'd sewn it together, I just cut these apart and took this out. So now you're left with this and you get the space in between where you see the lace underneath as well, which is nice. I like to be able to see all the layers when I put something together. I hate hiding things. So here you can see one, two, three layers so far to that one. And then I wanted a center on it. And I just, I used this before. Um, this is um, a braided trim from Craft Supplies for You. It's flat on the back, but it has, it's pointed at the top. And it makes r these simple rolled flowers by just simply rolling it up. I mean, you, and gluing as you go, you know, every once in a while, putting in a bit of glue. I don't want to do that right now because I don't want to, I don't know if I want another one right now, but you end up, as you roll, see, you get a perfect little flower. And all you have to use is a couple of dabs of glue to get that. And so I rolled until I got the size I wanted, and then I put a pearl in the center of there. So that created my snowflake flower for the bottom, and then I added dangles. And I used some organza trim that I had in my stash from Craft Supplies for You. And those, these are the pearls that were on the spray of flowers that had these little white ones on it as well. And I gathered them together and kind of had them hang out the bottom and then just some other um, seam binding and stuff that I had in my stash and some blue seam binding. And then at the very bottom, I just attached one of my little 
angels that I make. There is my cute little wall hanging. I finished, I did finish the back off and put this really nice snowflake ribbon that I got from the dollar store and just a piece of, of cotton fabric on the back and I put the ribbon around the edge so it's nicely finished on the back as well. So that's my little wall hanging and another design team project for craft supplies for you. I hope you'll stop by the store and have a look at some of these items that I have used in my project and um, I'll leave links to the store in the description box below. Also links to the di designers that are currently designing for craft supplies for you and you can go to their channels as well and be inspired by some of the beautiful projects they're making and I hope you you will be inspired to try some of these projects of your own. If you have any questions or want any clarification on anything, the products or how I did something, just leave me a question in the box below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks everybody. Bye for now.